taking place on Halloween in the town of Mill Valley in 1968, Ramon, played by Michael Garza, arrives in town while nearby horror enthusiast, Stella Nichols, played by Zoe Coletti, receives a call from her friends Chuck Steinberg, played by Austin Zager, and Augie Yilderbrandt, played by Gabriel Rush, to join them in a prank on their school bully, Tommy Milner, played by Austin Abrams. This involves confronting Tommy and his friends who are throwing beer bottles at a local scarecrow known as Harold, played by Mark Steger, and even taking a swing at him with his bat. In this scene, Chuck retrieves feces from the toilet and teams up with his friends to throw it, as well as eggs and toilet paper, at Tommy's car while he is out with Chuck's sister, Ruthie, played by Natalie Ganshorn, and his buddies. This results in Tommy crashing his car into a fence and pursuing the kids, who seek refuge in Ramon's car at a nearby drive-in theater. Although the bullies eventually find them, they are forced to leave by the security personnel. However, before departing, Tommy makes a hurtful comment directed at Stella concerning her mother's abandonment of her and her father. After they leave, Stella takes a moment to compose herself before inviting Ramon to join her and her friends in investigating a haunted house. The four go to the home of Sarah Bellows, a figure in an old legend about a disturbed woman who allegedly poisoned numerous children in the neighborhood. The kids enter after Ramon picks the locks on the door. Augie and Chuck mess around to scare each other, but Chuck ends up hiding in a closet where he sees the old room turn refurbished and what appears to be an old woman with a dog sitting by the bed. Augie opens the door to scare Chuck, and everything looks old again. Meanwhile, Stella and Ramon find Sarah's old book of scary stories. They are then trapped down there by Tommy and his goons. Ruth tells Tommy to let them out, but he locks her in there too. After trying to break out, an unseen force lets them free. They go outside to find that Ramon's car was vandalized by Tommy, with wet back written on it. Ramon must take it to the shop and since he was living in his car, he is nowhere to go. Stella invites him to come over and stay in the basement. Following a drunken drive home, Tommy's mother orders him to deliver eggs to the neighbors. While on his errand, he encounters Harold and again mocks him. Simultaneously, Stella reads from Sarah's book and discovers the story Harold featuring Tommy. As she reads, she realizes that Harold has vanished from his perch and Tommy is being stalked by him. Tommy attempts to defend himself with a rake, but Harold rests it away and fatally impales Tommy with it. Tommy tries to flee, but his body slowly fills with straw. Ramon takes his car to the shop the following day, where he is interrogated by Chief Turner, played by Gil Bellows, regarding his presence in town. Upon noticing what Tommy had written, Turner inquires about Ramon's supposed altercation with Tommy, and upon hearing Ramon's last name is Rodriguez, he hints at investigating him. After Tommy is reported missing by Stella's father, Roy, played by Dean Norris, she and Ramon set out to investigate. They discover what appears to be Harold dressed in Tommy's clothing, leading Stella to suspect that the story she read has come to life. In an effort to put an end to it, she resolves to return the book to the Bellows house. Upon returning home with Ramon, Stella discovers that Sarah's book has mysteriously returned to her bookshelf, and a new story begins to materialize the big toe. This story centers on Augie, who eats a stew containing a severed toe, prompting a disembodied voice to demand, Who took my toe? Stella attempts to warn Augie, but he ignores her and consumes the stew. The big toe woman, played by Javier Botet, then starts to stalk him, causing Augie to hide under his bed. Despite his efforts to remain hidden, the creature pulls him beneath the bed, revealing her monstrous visage before making him vanish. Stella and Ramon arrive too late, discovering claw marks beneath Augie's bed that confirm their worst fears. Stella informs Chuck and Ruth that Augie has vanished, and that the book is to blame. Chuck proposes that they bring the book to the police, but Ramon is hesitant, Fearing that the authorities might implicate him in both Augie and Tommy's disappearances, especially since there is now a search party looking for the latter. The group attempts to destroy the book by setting it on fire, but their efforts prove unsuccessful. Stella, Chuck, and Ramon head to the Mill Valley Gazette to investigate Sarah's past. They uncover articles about a woman named Lulu Baptiste who was fired after Sarah's suicide. Rumors suggested that Lulu had been teaching Sarah black magic. While they're at the Gazette, the book writes another story called The Red Spot. In this story, 
Ruthie is bitten by a spider while in the Bellows' house. As she prepares for a school performance, the bite on her cheek starts to worsen. While checking the bite in the bathroom, Ruth hears a voice calling her name. Suddenly, a spider leg pokes out of her cheek, followed by a swarm of spiders that start biting her. Stella, Chuck, and Ramon rush to the school and douse Ruth with water to repel the spiders. She is taken to the hospital covered in bites and crying. The group locates Lulu, an elderly and visually impaired woman, to inquire about her history with Sarah and search for a solution to the current situation. However, they discover that Lulu denies any use of magic and that the book's influence has taken a toll on her mental state. Stella, Chuck, and Ramon visit a hospital in search of information about the Bellows family. Chuck shares a dream he had about a pale woman warning him about the hospital being an evil place. As they search, Stella and Ramon discover a room containing old recordings of Sarah receiving electroshock treatment from her brother Ephraim. They learn that Sarah was innocent and that her family was responsible for tainting the water supply, which led to the poisoning of children. Sarah was tortured and framed to conceal the truth. Meanwhile, Chuck is discovered by orderlies, and an alarm goes off causing the hospital to turn red. Chuck encounters the grotesque and overweight pale lady, played by Mark Steger, who chases him relentlessly until she absorbs him. Stella and Ramon are too late to save him and are forced to leave the hospital. As Chuck's fate sinks in, they realize that the new story being written is the dream, which involves Chuck's disappearance. Stella contacts her father from the police station, revealing her fear that the book will lead to her demise. She clarifies that she is not trying to flee. Roy consoles her, assuring her that it was never her responsibility that her mother departed. During the investigation, Turner interrogates Stella and Ramon about the disappearance of their friends. They attempt to clarify that the book is to blame, but Turner finds their story to be too outlandish to believe. Turner also reveals that Ramon dodged the draft and that his actual last name is Morales. The two are locked up in adjoining cells. Ramon discloses that his brother was drafted during the Vietnam War and was killed there, so he fled after discovering that he was to be drafted as well. The next story in the book unfolds, introducing a creature known as the Jangly Man. The monster attacks Turner, killing him and hurling his body towards Stella's cell. Stella obtains the keys and frees Ramon, but the Jangly Man, aware of Ramon's involvement in an old story, begins to pursue them. The pair flees, realizing that they need to travel to the Bellows' house to stop this. Jangly Man pursues them as they flee in Turner's car, but Ramon crashes the vehicle and traps Jangly Man beneath a train, allowing them to escape. Stella and Ramon arrive at the Bellows' house, but Jangly Man separates them as he chases after Ramon. Stella is cornered by the ghosts of the Bellows' family, including Sarah's spirit who is preparing to ensnare Stella in her own narrative. However, Ramon's voice breaks through, urging Stella to reveal the truth. Stella courageously confronts the ghost, admitting that she knows Sarah's family was responsible for killing the children and framing her for the crime. Stella acknowledges that by haunting and hurting her friends, Sarah is becoming just as monstrous as her family. She promises Sarah that she will reveal the truth about her, and in response, Sarah gives Stella a quill and instructs her to inscribe Sarah's story in her own blood. Stella takes the quill and writes the truth, causing Sarah's ghost to scream and cross over to the other side. The jangly man falls to the ground, and the terror appears to be over. Stella and Ramon find each other and embrace. Later on, Ramon willingly goes to be drafted in Vietnam. He says farewell to Stella, who gives him a letter and promises to write to him. He reads it on the bus and it's a letter from her asking him to come home soon. Stella writes a story in the school paper about the truth over the Bellows family history. While not many people are listening, she is determined to let the real story be known. She then goes with Roy and the recovered Ruth, as they plan to use Sarah's book to find a way to bring back Augie and Chuck.